So, on the subject of composition, I thought I'd give you an example of what I what is a what is a cluttered shop. So, in front of me, there's a tree, which some might think is a nice looking tree, and some might think, oh, I want to, I'll take a picture of it. Someone could just take a picture of it on the mobile phone. And that's what I refer to as a snapshot. It's not not a photography photograph. So I'm going to show you what I mean. And there's loads of reasons why I wouldn't take a picture of this tree from this angle. So here's the tree. Now, if you're a photographer, you're going to understand exactly why I would not take a picture of a tree from this side. One, you got the building in the background there that effectively cuts the tree in half, so that's distracting. You've got trees behind the building that are also distracting from the tree. Bearing in mind if the tree is the main focus of the image, which, it, which hypothetically it is, then you've got a worker's van there, and then you've got a blue, there's a blue uh, metal, some a blue metal frame in there, which is very distracting. And then you've got a, a tree stump next to it there. So this is a prime example of a cluttered photograph or a, a lack of composition, if one was to take a picture from this angle. Now, obviously, there are nice some yellow flowers on the floor, you've got some shadowing, and then you've got the actual tree. Now, all you need to do, now this sometimes doesn't even work, sometimes you can move around as much as you want and you still can't get the shot because I can't move that building. <laughs> now I'm not going to take a picture of this tree because it's not really my sort of scene. Actually, taking it from that kind of an angle, maybe, but as you see, as we move around the tree, things get a little bit less cluttered. However, the tree may look a little bit different from this angle. But then, now the tree is a different shape from this side and you've still got the goalpost there and there. However, it's not as cluttered as it was before. So, the point is, you need to use your body. You need to simply move around. You need to walk around. Now, with with things like trees and buildings, there are going to be a, there are going to be plenty of times where even when you move around, you can't get the shot without a bit of clutter in it because you physically can't move the clutter around. You can still take the shot, especially if it's a really intriguing uh, subject or building or scene. For example, well that's just an example of a, a heavily cluttered shot and why I would not take a picture of it. The tree looks a lot better from this side but all the clutters behind that side. So just another compositional uh, example for you. Personally, I, if the clutter wasn't there I might take a picture of that tree when when the sun's at a certain angle and all the branches are shadowing on the floor that would look pretty cool and I'd probably render it in black and white anyway that's just a another composition example for you <laughs>